Hey what's up guys it's Scares here and today I have a new commentary and this one is going to be on the Black Ops 3 reveal trailer. That's right guys it came out today I've been hyping this up in all my videos. I am very very excited for it and I know some of you guys may be disappointed in other things but I definitely want to break this down for all trick shotters and snipers out there because I understand I have a lot of trick shotters and snipers subscribed to me. So I want to tell you guys about this and just to actually like add on to my video yesterday uh, myself and AVs actually apologized to each other privately in a Skype call and we actually are really chill with each other now so I'll leave his channel in the description the guy is a very very awesome dude uh we were able to you know handle it maturely we didn't like get pissed at each other or anything so that was fucking awesome man and uh you know what i actually do uh, apologize to him because he actually is a pretty good guy uh, i just you know didn't really see that at first but let's actually get into the trailer right here so the black ops 3 trailer is amazing this is actually the first part i want to talk about right here uh this is the swimming in this trailer that's so fucking cool i know some of you guys might not really care about that uh there was a little bit of swimming in the advanced warfare trailer but it never really was in the game but i think in this game they're going to implement swimming a lot lot more like there's going to be a ton of more places where you can like swim and stuff and uh then for the the second part here there's actually a part where he takes out like a death machine i'm pretty sure it's called the reaper in black ops 3 and it basically is a death machine like the one in black ops 2 i fucking love that and uh for the next thing here we actually have one where this guy takes out a swarm of insects and then it like burns the guy which is really fucking sick uh that's definitely going to be a very cool kill streak in multiplayer and this is what kind of pisses me off there is going to be some type of exo movement futuristic movement not really exo movements but uh you know it's futuristic movements like guess you could call it and uh that was right there that guy was able to like skid through the uh ground i'm pretty sure and uh then we actually see laser sight in this trailer i'm pretty sure this is laser sight it's on a new pistol and you can actually see that there's some type of beam coming out of his pistol so that's pretty cool i remember everyone loved laser sight in uh, black ops 2 and uh for the next thing here we actually have the wall running i know some of you guys are really gonna hate this i personally didn't like it at first i think we'll be able to get through this but uh wall running just is definitely going to be a thing in black ops 3 you're going to be able to run on wall which honestly I don't think is cool at all but either way we can get through it and uh, for the next thing here this is the coolest thing out of this entire trailer there is actually a sniper it's called the Lotus sniper it looks very very awesome when it shoots but I don't know man it kind of seems like this would not be the sniper that we're going to use I feel like there's gonna be a cooler sniper that's in this game because it just didn't really look that awesome but uh, it definitely is pretty awesome that they are showing some snipers off and then for the second thing here there's some type of like teleport thing that you can do where you can teleport towards these guys or like dash towards them to punch them it's pretty fucking awesome and uh, then this guy was able to go into a kill streak. It's some type of like helicopter kill streak. And for all of you cynical pistol feeders out there, there is a magnum or like a futuristic kind of magnum thing in this game that's basically a one shot kill. Uh, and then there's a bunch of other really cool futuristic stuff in here. I know some of you guys don't like futuristic stuff. Uh, but then there also was a crossbow. And then there's some type of like kill streak that like chases you down. This thing looks creepy as fuck. And uh, holy fuck, man, there's so many crazy things in this trailer. They actually had implemented uh, all types of campaign and multiplayer in other trailers that we've seen before. We only get campaign, but this time we got a lot of multiplayer gameplay. And actually, we do get the release date. It's 11 6 15, which is November 6th, 2015. So for all of you guys, mark that down on your calendars if you guys want to buy it when it first comes out. And then we get a little zombies teaser, and then we get something that's pretty crazy. It says pre order and get beta access but it's only available on xbox one ps4 and pc so that means that beta access is only going to be available on those three consoles i thought we would have some old gen consoles getting beta access but i don't really think that's going to happen i feel like they're only going to have beta access for the new consoles which fucking sucks dude that really does suck i'm gonna have to plug in my xbox one again just to get you guys some beta gameplay but i'm definitely going to end up playing the beta i mean that just seems fucking amazing to be able to play the game before it's even released and at the same time guys i understand a lot of you are actually thinking that this game is going to be made just for new gen i actually got a lot of tweets today saying scarce why does it not say that this game's being made on the old gen it will be made for xbox 360 and ps3 as well they just don't really specify it in here but they are going to be making it for the old gen as well it's just not going to be made by the same exact company they're going to get a different company to make it uh because they obviously need to put all of their effort into the new gen consoles and i understand a lot of you guys are not very impressed with this trailer because a lot of you guys wanted to see it go back into the world war ii era you don't like seeing futuristic stuff anymore but let's be optimistic here i mean it is treyarch these guys make great call of duties i just want to be very 
optimistic about this Call of Duty. I think it's going to be great. No matter what anyone says, I really did like the trailer. I think that the campaign is going to be amazing. I mean, Call of Duty always makes great campaigns. But uh, this time, multiplayer is definitely going to be something different. And I just hope it's a good type of different. I hope it's not like really shitty or it's like a Ghost or Advanced Warfare. Because honestly, I didn't really like those games that much. And I understand some people really did enjoy them. But I just wasn't too much into them. I didn't get too much into it. Uh, so I really do hope it's amazing. It has great multiplayer like Black Ops 2 did. And uh, if that does happen, that would be amazing. Actually, one of the things that make me very, very excited about this Call of Duty is the fact that they did bring back Theater Mode. That's right, guys. Theater Mode is in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. That is fucking awesome, dude. Theater Mode has not come back for the last three years. Black Ops 2 is the last Call of Duty with Theater Mode, and now they brought it back for Black Ops 3. That is so sick because we all know Theater Mode is seriously one of the best things, especially for editing and just everything in general when it comes to montage making. You want to make sure you have a backup to all of your clips because sometimes your recording will fuck up and you won't be able to get your clip which will really suck and especially for those of you out there who don't even have recording devices you guys would definitely love to have a theater mode because then you can get other people to record it for you and just for everything in general i think theater mode is really useful for i mean it's useful for seeing where the fucking person was who you killed remember in call of duty ghosts and in advanced warfare you didn't have theater mode so honestly sometimes you didn't even know who the person you killed was and you couldn't even go back in theater mode or anything to check it out which is very very frustrating because you don't know if it's a wall bang you don't know if it's a triple wall bang and uh, it's just it's an annoying thing in general and i really would not like to see you know no theater mode in the next call of duty that would fucking suck but there is going to be theater mode which definitely makes me very very excited and uh, they also did say that they do have boost jumps in this next call of duty which is pretty fucking horrible but uh, they did say that it's not as bad as Advanced Warfare. Like, you're not going to be flying up in the air for, like, 10 seconds. No, you guys are only going to be in the air for, like, a few seconds, if not, like, one second. It's nothing too big. It's nothing, like, huge like Advanced Warfare was. So I really hope that this next Call of Duty is going to be awesome. As of right now, I'm not really 100% sure on that. But hopefully, when the beta comes out, we can see some really awesome stuff in it. And at the same time, I'm not really too sure about the kill feed in this next COD. I really do hope it's just like the one in Black Ops 2, maybe a little bit better, because as you guys know the one in advanced warfare and the one in ghost just was not that cool i didn't like seeing the one in ghost where it was all the way on the top right of the screen i really like seeing uh some type of black ops 2 kill feed where it's up for a little bit but not too long like advanced warfare uh, i think that would be awesome so hopefully they do keep the kill feed like that and that's really it guys i hope you did enjoy the commentary if you did leave a thumbs up it really does mean a ton and you guys can also check out the other two videos on the screen here my previous video is pretty freaking awesome i actually do talk about some more black ops 3 stuff uh, so definitely be sure to check that out and you can also check out my missing video as well subscribe if you're new and i'll see you later peace